This is your Health Edge from Cleveland Clinic. If you're a smoker who's still looking for a New Year's resolution, this might help you make up your mind. The National Cancer Institute says lung cancer remains the number one cancer killer in the United States. And smoking caused nearly 90% of lung cancer deaths last year. Dr. Jeffrey Chapman is a Cleveland Clinic lung cancer expert. There is some good news and some bad news with this data. The first is that smoking death, smoking related lung cancer deaths in men have decreased markedly and continue to decrease as men who started smoking earlier in our society stopped smoking in the 90s. Unfortunately for women, the same cannot be said because they started smoking later in time and their death rates, although they're a little bit less, have plateaued since the 90s. The government report finds more than 160,000 people died of lung cancer in 2007. It killed more people than breast, prostate, colon, liver, kidney, and melanoma cancers combined. Results show 9 out of 10 lung cancer deaths can be tied to a single behavior, smoking. Dr. Chapman says researchers are trying to find more effective ways to detect lung cancer, but for now, your best defense is to quit smoking. Stopping smoking is it, and especially the, the data showing that in men who stopped smoking, their death rates decreased where women who continue to smoke at current, at unchanged levels, their death rates have not decreased. Details about the Cancer Institute's report can be found online at www.cancer.gov. For Cleveland Clinic News Service, I'm Mike Jacobson. This is your Health Edge from Cleveland Clinic. To learn more about breaking medical news, go to clevelandclinic.org.